They say that behind every successful man is a woman, but behind every successful woman is a whole support system made up of the very people she tries to help in day-to-day -day life. Hi everybody, this is Navdeep Kaur and welcome to my channel. We all have hardworking women in our lives and the one thing they usually need the most but won't ask for is your support. So how can you support the women in your lives? Keep watching to find out, but first, I'm going to ask you for your support. Please consider subscribing by clicking the red button below and the bell icon next to it so you'll be the first to find out when I post a new video. So how do you support the women in your life? If you're a son, daughter, husband, sister, brother, significant other, friend, or close to a woman in any way, here are a few ways you can help her achieve her full potential. Let me state the obvious here first. Share the workload. Women do more than two and a half times more unpaid work than men. So try to pitch in with the cooking, cleaning, caring for children or other family members and any other task that the women in your life typically perform. You might not be able to do a 50-50 split, but whatever you can do will be greatly appreciated. My husband and I live with my parents and sister. While there are plenty of bodies in the house, the majority of the cooking and cleaning falls on my mom's and my shoulders, and we both help each other out by splitting this work, but our other family members pitch in whenever they can. It could be something as simple as washing the dishes, vacuuming or sweeping the floors, or even watching something on the stove while we step away to do something else. Learn their tasks. Sometimes you might say it's not a gender thing, it's just that women do certain things better than men, or one particular woman does something better than everybody else around her, and therefore it's her job to always perform that task. But please, don't handicap yourself and don't tie them down. Ask them to teach you how to do that thing so you can at least help lighten some of the load. Liberate women from stereotypes. Understand that we have been programmed by our culture, media, and history to believe that we must first be perfect inside the home before we can try and achieve other goals outside the home. Just one person in our lives freeing us from these social norms and expectations can open up so many windows of opportunity. We need our well-wishers to recognize and accept that history and the world haven't been fair to us. Don't discount our issues. Accept that we have been discriminated against, pushed back and held back for generations. Even though awareness of our issues is increasing, we are still suffering because the change isn't enough yet and it's too slow to fix all the damage. And I know it's taboo in many cultures to talk about the workings of the female body, but it is important that you understand their various physical needs based on age or life stage. You need to understand everything from puberty to menopause and should always be willing to offer the care and support women might need in any of these times. Give women the opportunities to get educated and be financially independent. I'm not saying that you force them to get a job or start a business if they don't want to, but if you are in the position to do so, make sure that the women in your life are not completely dependent on others for survival. Helping them get an education can open up so many doors if they choose to or need to work. If you're a parent, this could mean letting your daughter study for her exams while you wash the dishes. If you're a grandchild, you could teach your grandmother how to send an email or use technology so she can either Google things herself or just keep herself socially involved and occupied. If you know a single mother who's struggling to make ends meet, you could offer to help with her children's education so they can build a better future together. And most importantly, give women time to pursue their dreams and fulfill their potential. This could be through sharing the unpaid workload or by adopting technology that could automate some household tasks or by looking for hired help so they can delegate some of their tasks to make time for personal and professional growth. Remember, be respectful and don't make women feel inferior. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Please share it with at least one person to help spread the word. I would love to get a conversation started in the comment section below 
So let us know how you are or will support one important woman in your life. Thanks for watching. Until next time.